Sorry. Just get the feel for the stage. <laughs> How many students do we have in the house tonight? Yeah. Uh, who's tired of being hungry, poor, and cold all the time? <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go. We're here to have a laugh. Um, who here likes to laugh? Me. Bollocks. Yeah, I was expecting a bit of a laugh. I've only got one joke uh, tonight, so that's going to be a bit difficult. Do you want to hear my one joke? Yeah. yeah. Cool, here it goes. Uh, my friend runs up to me the other day and says, Andrew, Andrew, there's 15 elderly men over there making shoes. I said, ah, that's a load of old cobblers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not really a comedian. Uh, no, I just don't have many people to talk to generally in my life. Uh, this is a nice platform for me. You have to listen. Uh, so that's nice <laughs> right. no, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm quite nervous this evening. Uh, this is my first and potentially last. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm just generally quite a nervous and shy guy in life. Uh, give us a shout if you're shy. <laughs> okay, that's exactly. no real way of getting that. Just stay deadly silent in your seats if you're shy. Alright, okay. <laughs> guy in general, I've got a lot of fears. Uh, I think men could be ridiculous with that kind of thing, really. Uh, for instance, I have a friend who is deadly scared of the doctors, will not go to the doctors. Um, and the other day I just had to say, look, mate, you're ill, I'm going to take you to the no, no, I swear to God, but I'm fine, I'll be alright, I've, I've, got, I've got no illnesses at all. And I was like, no, come on, mate, 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 come on, this is ridiculous. So I had to drag him into my car, drive him, to the walk-in centre, and obviously we had to wait there for about an hour and a half, and he's like really angry, he's like, honestly, I'm not ill, I'm not ill, I'm like, mate, come on, I've got to do this. So eventually, we got to the doctors, and uh, but apparently being ginger isn't an illness. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a good thing we took him to the doctors, because uh, he found out he had six months to live. <laughs> so, Ridiculous, and we obsess over things uh, to a point of just sheer ridiculousness. For example, uh, I don't know if you knew this, uh, ladies in the house, but every man here tonight um, has a very concise and detailed plan of action in the event of a zombie attack. <laughs> um, and even if you don't know exactly what you're doing, you've got you know, a pretty, pretty good idea and spent a more than you should have done uh, thinking about it. Uh, like with most of the people I know, know exactly where they're going to go, who they're going to pick up first, their vehicles, their weapon of choice, which is usually a shotgun that they expect to get from someone. And yeah, and some people have varying plans depending on who they're with and where they are. But I swear to God, not one single one of these men will have a fire. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of stomach trouble recently. I think I might have irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know for sure. It's just a gut feeling. Uh, and speaking of racism, there is a YouTube clip. Uh, rolling around uh, the internet at the moment called My Tram Experience. How many people have seen that? Yeah! Ooh, yeah, no, exactly. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, it's essentially a middle-aged woman uh, expressing her very irrelevant views um, to other people on a tram uh, of different uh, ethnic backgrounds or surrounding her. And uh, basically, it, it's, it's a justification for the necessity uh, of a mass cutting that needs to happen. <laughs> In this town. No, it's alright, I'm joking. I'm not getting Jeremy Clarkson on you. Uh, but no, I think there are a lot of people in Britain that sort of need to sort their acts out because, the, yeah, especially young people, because they're giving a lot of us young people a bad name. And it's just not good. Um, for example, I was walking down the street the other day and a young hooded man uh, wanted 
grabbed my attention and he thought the best way of doing that was as that. Yo, 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 mate, yo, 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 yo. I thought he was going to start some sort, of, some sort of improv rap or something like that. Um, and it's just, you know, ridiculous. It shows that, and that's exactly the reason that why I go for a job uh, in the retail sector. I have to watch these ridiculous uh, sort of customer service videos with <laughs> Nomad Jane who doesn't know how to speak to people. Like, you know, this is Jane, it's her first day at work. Let's see how she handles the customers. Excuse me, I was looking for a sofa. Fuck off! <laughs> Stop. What did Jane do wrong here? <laughs> you're ridiculous. Uh, you know, it's just, it depends, you know, it's, it's all about the context of what you're doing and when you do it and where you are. Like, for example, I spy. It's a great game for car journeys, but not such a great game when trying to alert people of an imminent emergency. <laughs> Don't you know? Can let you play that through in your head? <laughs> Pipe down. <laughs> Look down at me and he said, I bought it, 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 I